How's it going? <laughs> oh no. Gosh, on that racist channel video, um, East Coast Canadian. If you, you should subscribe to his channel if you have him. He's pretty funny. He says, uh, that, oh, it's the hijab army to, to counter the plaid army. <laughs> it was funny. It's funny. But my friend, they have many, 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 many armies to our one. Just just say it. <laughs> okay, so remember uh, after the prince got coronated again and he appointed Deputy Dog. What I say was going to happen? Oh, he's not going to come around much. And I think he only came back on... Uh, from uh, from the Dominican Republic because those photos were servicing because there was too much speculation it was running wild so he had to come back for a little while um, so now he's but he went on vacation again he's gone again because I don't know where he is but he has personal days right because you know blaming uh, President Trump for what Iran did at all those press conferences and dodging questions where he condemns Iran in any shape, way shape or form that's got to be tiring. And now with this coronavirus, ooh-wee, where's the prince? He's just too busy. <laughs> Hitting that bong, <laughs> snorting those lines, popping them pills, whatever it is he fucking does, eh? I told you before that the prince didn't like this. He was much happier when he was just like Playboy Justin Trudeau. And then he could do whatever he wanted. He could grope and feel and diddle and all kinds of stuff without anyone going, Hey, is that Justin Trudeau over there? You know what I'm saying? He can't ever go back to that. The prince is very unhappy. I think he's finally realized it. Yeah, there's no going back. So uh, he's not going to come to work only once in a while. He's now he's part-time prime minister. And who's going to say anything? Uh, in the house, we want answers. Oh, 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 God. Oh. Those guys are going to get answers? Remember, uh, I made a few videos on it, as did others, when uh, oh, China was punishing us and decided they didn't want to buy our canola, and I think there was a time they didn't want our pork anymore. Yeah, we, we don't want that stuff, Canada. I bet, you, I bet you flights from China are fucking still landing here in Canada. I bet they're coming faster and, and more furious. I bet they're coming. Woo, come on in. And Canada's going, do you have the virus? No. Okay. Do you have the virus? No. No. Does anyone on this... These hundreds of planes, maybe, have the virus. Oh, no, no, we don't have virus. No, no. Okay. <laughs> just, just saying. I'm not saying that that's happening or anything like that. But what is happening is they're not saying, hey, no more planes coming here from China. Kind of like our border, I guess. We'll work it all out later. And like the budget that's going to balance itself. And you know how it is here in Canada. It's all good. <laughs> oh my god for all all the new subscribers and stuff i bet you're glad you found me right i know some people will say that you find it's always good when you find people that go hey that's what i say i think the same shit what the fuck i just gotta say well welcome to our box <laughs> now you'll be trapped here with all the rest of us uh, so I'm dressed like this because, uh, well, not just this, but because uh, I just came in from my next video. Uh, it was a beautiful day outside today, so I made a video. My next one is about where deer are sleeping. So I, I kind of talked about it the other day when I was back there, so I went off and, and stomped around back there. Plus I found some good usable trees and uh, found a whole, whole bunch. Of, it's called a fen, eh? But there's, there's like three or four spots where deer are sleeping, and uh, I took... I made a video about it to show you what it's like, what their little beds are like. You know, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff.